Welcome to Rolling On TV. On this week's show, Jeff Johnston does a weekend review of the new Nissan Titan pickup matched up with the Grand Design Reflection 313 RLS trailer. Also, Evan Schmarter checks out the new Gulfstream Track and Trail toy hauler. And we take another look at renting an Airstream trailer from Airstream to go. These stories and more on this week's Rolling On TV. Closed and Spanish captioning, where available, is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. It isn't every day that we have an opportunity to road test a brand new tow vehicle, one that's literally new from the ground up. Well, this is one of those opportunities, and it's pretty exciting. The tow vehicle is the brand new Nissan Titan XD pickup. It's designed to compete head-to-head -head with the U.S. half-ton truck market. In this case, it's also powered by the brand new Cummins V8 diesel engine. We've got the truck coupled up to a Reflections trailer from Grand Design. It's a 31 RLTS, rear living room, triple slide. It's a heavy trailer and it's a perfect size load for a truck like this. We're pretty excited about being able to get both of these guys out on the road, so uh, follow along and we'll tell you more about them. Taking on the existing full-size truck manufacturers is a big move. It isn't easy to sway buyers of the domestic Big 3 truck products, but Nissan is giving it a shot. In truth, the Titan XD is built in Tennessee with an engine built in Indiana, so it's more American truck than some of its Canadian or Mexican-built competitors. The XD is all new with chassis, powertrain, and body components designed just for the new truck family. We picked up our reflection trailer at B. Young RV in Milwaukee, Oregon. The technician helped us make the proper hitch head height adjustment required for a suitable towing setup. Our Titan XD aft end was compressed about three inches by the trailer's 1,460 pound hitch dead weight, which underscored the need to use a weight distributing hitch. The Titan XD also includes an automatic trailer tail light check so one person can do the job alone. Our truck was a top-end Platinum Reserve model, so it came equipped with just about every possible option. Outside, the new Titan looks as tough and muscular as it should. Under the hood, it's all business. The Cummins V8 diesel engine, to be joined later by gasoline V6 and V8 engine options, is rated at 310 horsepower and 555 pounds-feet of torque. Those are great numbers to support the truck's 12,314 pound maximum towing capacity. As with all diesel trucks, adding diesel exhaust fluid is part of the Titan's emissions operation maintenance. A heavy duty Azen six speed automatic makes good use of the diesel power output and its manual shift control Tow mode and grade assist braking contribute to secure towing road manners. The solid rear axle hung by leaf springs and sporting disc brakes is a reliable and effective towing hardware setup. Nissan also includes factory installed trailer wiring plugs. Integrated trailer sway control and the center mounted rear view monitor help keep the trailer in control and simplify hitching by one person. Luxury accommodations and full accessory and convenience support provide a plush ride in this rugged truck. Brown accent colors and chrome brightwork add to the dashboard's good looks. The general arrangement is familiar to drivers of full-size trucks and the comfortable front seats do not disappoint. An array of vehicle controls are positioned on or near the steering wheel for easy access. The wheel position is power adjustable throughout its range. Keyless ignition is all the rage, and it's used here, too. A simple twist of the knob engages four-wheel drive. Other controls are conveniently placed in the door, as is a decent storage pocket. The instrument panel data display contains a wide array of useful information, and each menu leads to a sub-menu. This will take some owner's manual time to decipher. 
The Around View Monitor uses four external TV cameras to provide a bird's eye view of the truck when backing, a great help in tight quarters, plus a straight back view of the surroundings. Nissan wisely included an integrated brake control that operates smoothly and precisely. We were able to achieve a fine degree of truck to trailer brake proportioning. The glove box isn't huge, but it'll do. Rear seat occupants enjoy a roomy space with adult legroom and the seats are fine for longer trips. The flip fold rear seats tip forward to provide semi-flat cargo storage space or the seat bottoms flip up and fold out platforms deploy for even more flat cubic capacity. There's concealed storage under the seats as well. An armrest with cup holders folds down from the bench seat back and climate controls and a power outlet are within reach. Comfort and convenience features are nice, but how the truck handles the load is what counts in the RV environment. We hitched up to a Grand Design Reflection 313 RLTS trailer that weighed 9,320 pounds wet but empty as a suitable payload for the Titan. Next stop, the Oregon Cascade Range. Okay, we're bombing up Highway 26 towards uh, Government Camp and Mount Hood. Right now we're somewhere over a thousand feet elevation, I suppose. Our trailer is following along pretty well. We got a little bit of a crosswind going on here today, but that's pretty standard. But uh, uh, all things considered, uh, steering is extremely stable. We're not having to do an awful lot of excessive correction, and it stays pretty much in the lane like we want it to. And we also seem to have enough power. Right now we're doing easily 60 miles an hour up the hill. It's 55 speed limit, so we may back it down a little bit. Right now, with uh, picking the trailer up at the dealer, running around town a little bit, and getting out here on the highway and starting up into the grades, we're running about 7.2 miles per gallon, which is pretty much standard for towing a big trailer like this. We'll be back with more of our Nissan Titan XD and Reflection trailer test right after these messages, so stay tuned. Simply put, Thetford's AquaCam has outsold all its competitors combined because it's the strongest holding tank deodorant available. It provides the strongest odor control around the clock in all temperatures and conditions. It quickly liquefies waste and tissue and is 100% biodegradable. AquaCam, the industry standard for 50 years. For more information, visit Thetford.com. AquaCam, another great product from Thetford. Is it now the perfect time to turn your old pop-up tent trailer from looking like this to looking like this? Treat yourself and your family to a bug-free camping season with a new tent canvas from Canvas Replacements. To learn more or to order a new canvas, visit canvasreplacements.com or call 800-232-2079. Welcome back to Rollin' On TV. We'll continue our test drive of the all-new Nissan Titan XD truck and reflection trailer by Grand Design. A serious mountain grade will separate the towing men from the boys. We're headed towards Mount Hood in the Oregon Cascades to see if the Titan has what it takes. Okay, we are on the 6% part of the grade. Right now I'm doing about 54 miles an hour at about 3,000 RPM in third gear. I'm not quite floored all the way, but we're doing fast enough. Right now we have a, quite a bit of wind we picked up here closer to Mount Hood, so uh, uh, the trailer is dicing around just a little more, but nothing beyond what you would expect for a trailer that big with a crosswind like this. Although it is one of those drives that uh, tends to kind of keep you on your toes. What goes up also needs to come safely down and that's important in an RV tow vehicle. Okay, we're headed back down the hill. Anyway, 6% grade, downhill. I'm using the manual shifters to be able to keep the, the transmission in a slightly lower gear. In this case, we're in fourth gear, and we're cruising along at about 55 miles an hour at about 2,600 uh, RPM approximately. And we're gaining a little bit of speed 
So I'm going to use a little bit of service brake and drop us back down to third gear, see if that holds us back pretty well. Still on that 6% grade. Once again, we're uh, running along in third gear. About 20, um, no, this is about uh, 25, that's uh, 2,700 RPM approximately, right at about 50 miles an hour. And we seem to be pretty stable at that point. It's the uh, engine hold rack compression is hold it controlling the trailer pretty well. It's always nice to go buy one of those truck emergency escape ramps and not have to use it. Our average towing fuel economy came to 9.2 miles per gallon, with a solo driving figure of 17.4 miles per gallon. Frankly, we anticipated that solo figure would be better for a modern diesel-powered light truck, but apparently not in this case. It's a big trailer at 37 feet 3 inches overall, so you'll need a stout and suitably equipped tow rig to handle it. Contrary to how it may seem, maneuvering a trailer this big isn't that bad. With some road time, you can feel perfectly comfortable behind the wheel with the 313 in tow. Aluminum framing with laminated construction is standard on the reflection, as are the smooth fiberglass gel coat sidewalls. Electric power stabilizing jacks at all four corners are standard equipment. A large pass-through compartment is one of the two exterior storage spots. The doors use new no-hook magnetic latches to stay open. Most RV campsites have their utilities near the back corner so you may need long hoses and cords to reach this trailer's utility center up front. Upgraded, easy-deploy aluminum entry steps are a welcome feature. The RLTS floor plan is more reminiscent of a full-timer's fifth wheel than a travel trailer. From the roomy rear living space and kitchen to the forward enclosed bath and bedroom suite, the trailer has elbow room to spare. Hand rubbed maple cabinet doors and drawer fronts and bow floor flooring contribute a touch of class to the interior ambiance. Wall hugger recliners make up the theater seating arrangement opposite the TV and entertainment center that includes an electric fireplace. An optional sofa bed occupies the back wall and provides sleeping accommodations for guests. The contrast color stitching lends an interesting note to the upholstery. The microwave and stove are tucked in a street-side nook that's next to the large pantry with full-depth shelves on one side and the new Norcold full-auto refrigerator with single-touch control on the other. An island kitchen unit with a sink and some storage space is centered in the floor. Solid surface LG brand countertops are standard. The single bowl stainless steel sink is huge. You need a spot for life's necessities, so forward in the kitchen there's a hutch with overhead cabinet. Opposite the kitchen, the freestanding dinette and chairs add a residential touch and the picture window brings in the view. Users will find the roomy bathroom well equipped and a good fit for most needs. There's a convenient mirrored storage cabinet above the sink that's mounted in a classy solid surface countertop with another cabinet below. A pair of linen closet cabinets next to the door make for easy towel and dry goods storage. Curved sliding doors enclose the shower stall with its residential style handheld shower unit. The standard equipment queen bed, a king size is optional, fits the master bedroom nicely and abuts the mirrored door closet. A wall-to-wall -wall wardrobe with inner shelves covers the bedroom front wall. Bedroom storage also includes a dresser on the curbside wall and an overhead cabinet prepped for mounting a TV. The Reflection 313 RLTS makes a terrific running companion for the new Titan XD truck. It's a fun combination for steady towing performance on the road and luxury comfort in camp. For more information about the Nissan Titan XD or the Reflection 313 RLTS trailer, log on to our website at rollingontv.com. Coming up after the break, Ivan takes a good look at the Gulfstream Track and Trail toy hauler. When you have a Truma Aquago instant hot water system, 
can expect to make a lot of new friends. Be sure and visit the new RollingOnTV.com where you'll find weekly shows along with a selection of videos, stories, information, and the latest RV news. Our lifestyle pages are full of great stories about places to go, things to do, and what's new. Written by our viewers and RV writers from around the country. And if you're into great food and drinks, then visit our food and beverage pages where we'll get your taste buds up and ready for an Epicurean adventure. All this and more on the new RollingOnTV.com. Toy haulers are one of the fastest growing segments in the RV industry, and they come in all sizes and price ranges. Let's join Evan as she checks out an entry-level toy hauler from Gulfstream. I'm with Randy Baskerville from Gulfstream Coach, and we're here in front of this beautiful, one of their entry-level toy haulers. Hi, Randy. How are you today? Couldn't be a better day. This is a gorgeous entry-level toy hauler, and they are just all the rage today. So tell me a little bit about it. You betcha. We're a 35-year-old company in uh, Napanee, Indiana, Gulfstream mm -hmm. Coach, and we've been produ producing the track and trail probably for uh, 10 years now. And uh, we brought this 24-foot uh, uh, to the uh, National RV Show here in Louisville, and very excited to share this uh, product with our dealers. Is the track and trail always a toy hauler? Uh, yes, always a toy hauler. And uh, what we've done with this is an entry level uh, with the metal size, and we have the silver color with some great decals on it. And the outside speakers and the electric awning is very appealing and very good uh, curb appeal. You notice also we have the black diamond plate with the, with the gray wheels on it as well. So 15 inch tires, very stable, very strong. Let's go inside and check it out. Sounds great. All right, come on. So here we are in the heart of the toy hauler. What is this called? This is the toy room. The toy room. Absolutely. Rocking. And it's gorgeous. Tell me about it. Yep. What we got here is we actually have a uh, dovetail so we can bring two fully dressed Harleys in here, place them in here. And one of the great things we do at Gulfstream in this track and trail is we don't set the mounts on this until you bring your toys in. So once the toys come in, we know where you're going to set, weight distribution, all that. Then we do the tie downs and custom all your tie downs to each toy that you have. So what if my toys aren't Harleys? There's other toys that people bring in these, right? Great question, yes. We have uh, dog groomers uh, going with our product. We have antique people, uh, just about anything that you could ever think of. And then we also have this pull down screen. So oh. when you're out there with your toys, you can pull this all the way down and then it'll keep all the bugs out. So it's great livability nice. as well. And then nice. we go into the two sofas we have here that flip down. And then we mm -hmm. also have the bed that will come down for more sleeping. So two, four, six, very easily right here in the toy room. So Wow, sleep six here in the toy room? That's right. Great, great wow. amount of room. Now, I love to cook, mm -hmm. so I don't have a Harley, but I do have one heck of a chef's knife. And here's your kitchen, so tell me about this. There we go. We have a double door refrigerator. That's very important. And then uh, two doors ah, here. Ah, merci. Yep. Lots of room in there. Oh, yeah. And then you right. also have a double double bowl sink there. Mm -hmm. And then you have an oven, mm -hmm. which a lot of them just have the oven top. So a full oven in here, so mm -hmm. you can have all your biscuits. And then you have your microwave above as well. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. cabinet, cabinet, cabinet three throughout. And then you also have your tread plate on the bottom. So at the end of the day, you can just wash everything out right out the back end, nice oh, and clean. Oh, that's great. So, so when people bring their toys in here, it might get a little dirty, sandy, grassy, because we're riding the dunes. That's right. Of course. So just and really nice and clean. How and convenient. then you also have a ventilator there, and then over here on the bottom, so that that opens up and then gets all the any of the carbons out as you travel or you oh, have your toys up there with you. So no safety kidding. is very important to us here at Gulfstream Coach. Wow, I hadn't even considered having a ventilator. Interesting. Yep. Now, not only do we have the toy box and the gorgeous residential style kitchen, but we also have a bedroom and yeah, a bathroom. Absolutely. Let's right? go take a look. Let's check it out. Well, we come in this uh, area and it's a private bath and private bedroom with the hard door. So this seals everything off from the toy area. So you have your lab here and then your uh, private bathroom, oh toilet, and shower. There's a shower in here. Absolutely. Oh, it's nice because it's so tall. Yep. You could really, I mean, wow. 
and the natural skylight inside as well. Fantastic, fantastic. And then you also come in here with a nice double bed right up front here and then a great wardrobe yeah. closet. Wow, that's then, great. Then in front, uh, running uh, east and west is a full storage area lighted for all your toys and your uh, all the accessories you want to bring. Outside, through. pass yes, through? that's correct. So, is that the mother-in-law cottage? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, shh, we didn't say that. <laughs> well, this is terrific. This is absolutely livable, fun, and exciting. What else have you got? Yeah, well, just like the Leno in here is Congolium Leno. It comes with a three year warranty. It looks like hardwood. Yes, and a magic mark or anything, a scuff mark comes right up. No, just wipes clean. Nice. Uh, the roof is a uh, 12 year rubber roof warranty. The floor decking is actually a 10 year warranty underneath there, all five eighths, one piece. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very strong mm -hmm. and yet very affordable. This one uh, goes to the marketplace for $21.9. And then the 17 footer, a little bit smaller I was telling you about, that actually goes to the marketplace for $16.9. Now, that's a good price for a good sized toy hauler. If you'd like to experience an RV vacation in a new Airstream along with a nice new tow vehicle, then stay tuned for this next story. At Jayco, we're a lot more than just an RV manufacturer. We're all about family. And we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. To see our complete product line and find your nearest Jayco dealer, visit us online at jayco.com or just log on to rollingontv.com. Never run out of propane again. With Level Check, there's no more guesswork. Just run the gauge over the tank, and when the light turns from red to green, you'll know exactly how much propane you have left. It's that simple. Level Check, another great product from Truma. For more information, visit levelcheck.com. For this vehicle launch, GMC partnered with Airstream to Go, a new company that specializes in renting matched Airstream and GMC Denali combinations. Company owner Dickie Regal explained a little bit about his operation. Airstream to Go is this brand new company um, that is bringing the Airstream experience to life for a brand new market of customers. Uh, for all of those 82 years, the only way anybody has ever been able to experience an Airstream trailer is by owning one. And so today, uh, Airstream to Go allows rental customers the opportunity um, to try it out. And for those people that have a constraint, they don't have the time to do it enough to justify the purchase, they may live in a city and they can't store uh, a trailer or a tow vehicle, uh, they may not have the financial means to purchase a very expensive product, um, but they would still love to try it. It becomes a bucket list kind of item for them. So Airstream to Go was founded to provide that access. It, it meshes uh, the aspiration towards the Airstream trailer and, and the actual ownership. And every Airstream trailer is mated, custom matched, to a 2013 GMC Yukon Denali. We chose the best tow vehicle in the business. Um, it's a, uh, an SUV, so for our customers that makes them comfortable, it gives them locking storage in the back, um, and a third row of seats in case they want to bring uh, more than four people. The company has set up its trailers with everything a customer needs to enjoy a first-class camping experience with an iconic Airstream trailer. If you're an RV pro or a newcomer, all you need to do is bring a sense of adventure, jump in, and go. For more information about GMC trucks or Airstream to go, log on to our website at rollingontv.com. We hope you enjoyed this week's show. And for more information on anything you've seen on the show, along with additional videos and stories, visit our website at rollingontv.com. Don't forget to visit our store where you'll find some of the great product featured on our show. As usual, this has been another fun production. For the latest up-to-the-minute RV news, visit our media partners at rvbusiness.com.